Get ready to level up your game with Mid-Journey Pro Tips. In this video, we'll be diving into some of the lesser-known features of Mid-Journey and showing you how to get the most out of this awesome AI tool. You'll learn how to master the chaos parameter, unleash the power of stylize, create patterns with tile parameter, harness the power of weighted prompts, create unique works of art by combining images, and save a ton of time with prefer option set and prefer suffix. If you're ready to take your mid-journey skills up a notch, keep watching. I want to take a quick moment to let you know that you can get the entire contents of this video in the form of a free illustrated ebook, with additional content such as seating, blending images, depth of field, and controlling the camera. Master the power of mid-journey's AI with this concise and clearly written ebook, with over 50 illustrations and 28 pages of high-quality content, a free gift to you for subscribing to AI Entrepreneur Newsletter. Just follow the link in the description to subscribe and download your copy. Now back to the video. Chaos Parameter The Mid-Journey algorithm offers a unique feature known as the Chaos Parameter, which allows users to control the level of variety in their image results. This parameter ranges from 0 to 100, with higher values resulting in more unusual and interesting images. To use Chaos, add dash dash Chaos, followed by a number between 0 to 100. Be mindful that increasing the chaos level also decreases the reliability of composition in the final images. When deciding on how to use chaos, it's best to consider exactly what it is you're looking to achieve. If the objective is to make a variation of a specific image, then the chaos parameter probably won't be the best choice. But, for users looking to explore multiple interpretations of a prompt, the chaos parameter can be a useful tool. While the latest version of the mid-journey algorithm is incredibly powerful and capable of producing stunning images, the variations generated can sometimes lack creativity. In such cases, the chaos parameter can be used to introduce more diversity in the results. Chaos simply increases the variety of compositions in the final images, but does not directly impact their creativity. Lower values result in more similar compositions, while higher values produce more varied results. Let's experiment with chaos in our prompts. First, we'll run a prompt without it. Now let's apply some chaos. We can see that Mid-Journey has gotten a little more creative with these. I'm liking the moth it's put inside the hourglass here. Let's run another and increase the chaos slightly. These look interesting. And now for maximum chaos. These are actually some very unique looking hourglasses. I particularly like the clock Mid-Journey has thrown in here. Stylize parameter. Mid-Journey's Stylize parameter is a powerful tool that allows users to customize the amount of artistic interpretation given to their prompts. Users can effectively guide the AI to create outcomes that are more accurate or less accurate to the words in their prompt by modifying the value of this parameter. Stylize in Mid-Journey version 3 can be specified between 625 and 60,000, with a default value set of 2,500. For simplicity, this parameter can be abbreviated to just S. The more the stylized parameter is increased, the more the AI creates visuals that are influenced by its own perception of the input. While decreasing the value will result in visuals that are more closely matched with the words in the prompt. It's important to note that the best value for the stylize option will depend on the user's goals, as well as the specific prompt being used. To use the stylize parameter, add dash dash stylize, or S, followed by the required value between 0 and 60,000, version 3, or 0 and 1000, version 4. It's worth noting that users can also define default style values using the mid-journey settings, but using the stylize modifier as part of your prompt gives more flexibility and control. The stylize option in mid-journey allows users to fine-tune the AI's artistic interpretation of your prompt, with larger values producing more abstract images, and lower values producing images that more closely match the prompt. Based on our experience, the stylize parameter seems more effective when using mid-journey version 3. Here's a breakdown of stylized values in version 3. S625 reduces the AI's creativity and stays true to the prompt. S1250 strikes a balance between artistic expression and obedience to your prompt. S2500 allows for moderate artistic flexibility while staying close to the prompt. S20000 offers the AI greater creative freedom for a more substantial deviation from your prompt. S60000 will allow the AI maximum creative freedom. Brace yourself for abstract and unexpected outcomes. The image will likely have no similarity to your prompt. Tile parameter. Did you know that you can create seamless, repetitive patterns in Mid-Journey? Most people don't know about this feature, but then again the Mid-Journey user manual doesn't seem to get updated regularly. 
Creating patterns in mid-journey is a pretty straightforward process. Simply start by inputting your desired prompt, and then add the tile parameter at the end. Just by adding tile to your prompt, you would have created four variations of a seamless pattern. Keep in mind that the tile parameter is currently only supported by mid-journey version 3. If you do need to use version 4, there is a workaround which sometimes works. With remix mode enabled, just create your pattern image with mid-journey v4, and then remix one of the variations, adding tile v3 at the end. The result will be a pattern generated using the version 3 algorithm. You might find that adding pattern of before your prompt helps to control the pattern. As a final tip, if you ever want to check if your pattern design is truly seamless, then you can use a seamless texture checker, like this one, to verify. The potential uses for mid-journey patterns are vast. These patterns have the potential to revolutionize many aspects of the creation process. Weighted prompts. You can guide mid-journey more accurately by giving parts of your prompt different weights. These weights add relative emphasis to the elements in your prompt. Let's run a prompt using weights. To add weights to your prompt you have to use a double colon followed by a number. Forward slash imagine, overhead view of a bowl of fruit, apples, 1, bananas, 2, grapes, 1, pears, 1. Notice that this prompt resulted in bananas appearing more frequently in the composition. Now I'm going to run it again, but this time I want a more balanced number of fruits, and no grapes. So I could run something like apples, 1, bananas, 1, grapes, minus 1, pears, 1. Text weights can vary from minus 10,000 to 10,000, but most users keep it within minus 2 to 2. The range or the numbers are actually unimportant. What matters is that the weights you've added are proportionate to one another. I'm gonna use another weighted prompt to emphasize elements of an image idea. A beautiful peaceful forest scene, overlooked by a dark foreboding castle. And here's the same prompt again but with weights. A beautiful peaceful forest scene, 1, overlooked by a dark foreboding castle, 10. More emphasis was given to the castle in the finished image, and less to the forest scene. When using weighted prompts it's good practice to specify weights for as many of the elements as you can, so that mid-journey understands that it needs to balance these variables. Let's look at another one. A colorful mouth-watering bowl of mixed fruits, 1, sitting on a rustic wooden table, 2, with natural sunlight streaming in, 3, through a nearby window, 4. Just as expected, the window is the more prominent element in the image, as it had the highest weight value in the prompt. Now let's run the prompt again and switch up the values. A colorful mouth-watering bowl of mixed fruits, 4, sitting on a rustic wooden table, 3, with natural sunlight streaming in, 2, through a nearby window, 1. The fruit bowl is the focus now, as its weight in this prompt is higher. Combining images. Midjourney has recently undergone a significant upgrade with the introduction of image combination capabilities. The feature allows users to merge two or more images together to create a new unique image, whilst retaining the likeness of the original source images. To use this feature, you have to be using version 4 of Midjourney. This can be done by adding the algorithm modifier, v4, to your prompts, or by selecting v4 through the settings panel. To start combining images, simply upload the images you wish to use, and then add their address links to your prompt. Disappointingly though, it's just interpreted the T-800 endoskeleton as just a boring human skeleton. No offense, but the AI gets the idea, and has combined the two images logically, placing the skeleton in a tropical beach setting. Adding text prompts. You can then add additional text prompts to further customize the final image. For example, you can take an image of a person and combine it with another, and then add text prompts to further change the art style of the final image, or add new elements to it. Let's run the prompt. These look pretty cool, but we can run the prompt again and add some text prompts to get something more interesting. Let's add cyberpunk style, city skyline backdrop, wearing backpack v4. Experimenting with different art styles can produce some interesting results. I'll change my prompt to anime style, Egyptian desert backdrop, wearing backpack v4. You can combine more than two images in a single prompt, although so far, I haven't had the best results when doing so. Let's take a look. I want to combine these three images. Let's upload them to Discord. Copy the image URLs, then add them to our prompt. Okay, these look pretty weird. I was kinda hoping it would've created a turtle riding a motorbike on the motorway. It's created some sort of turtle-shaped motorbike speeding along. Still pretty cool. 
Coming back to combining two images, I absolutely love this horrifying zombie parrot. Created without any modifiers or text prompts. Prefer Option Set AI Entrepreneur highly recommends using the Prefer Option Set feature to streamline your rendering process. This tool allows you to create custom shortcut groups for various modifiers and parameters, saving you time and effort. For example, by simply typing dash dash AI at the end of my prompt, I can automatically apply cyborg portrait, post-apocalyptic backdrop, 3D rendered, futuristic, cyberpunk, complex 3D render, ultra detailed, intricate details, anatomical, cable wires, octane render, volumetric lighting, high quality, aspect ratio 2 to 3, V4. Another example is my cyborg command, which autofills with city buildings in background, masterpiece, highly detailed, dynamic angle, 8K, artistic, aspect ratio 3 to 2. With the Prefer Option Set feature, you can also quickly and easily mix and match the art styles of famous artists for unique and interesting results. Creating your own custom commands is straightforward. Simply type slash Prefer Option Set, select it from the menu, and enter your desired command name in the option box. Then, click just next to the option box so that your cursor is positioned there, then click Value when it appears just above. This will create a box called Value to appear next to the Options box. Then enter the specific modifiers and parameters you want associated with that command into the value box. Once you hit enter, you'll receive a confirmation message and you'll be able to use your new command by adding dash dash your command name to your prompts. The prefer option set feature is a great way to streamline your rendering process, allowing you to focus on the subjects of your prompts and experiment with different styles with ease. To delete a group, just type slash prefer option set, then select it and hit enter without specifying a value. You'll then get a message from Midjourney confirming that it's been removed. Prefer suffix. By using the prefer suffix function, a specified suffix will automatically be added to all prompts you submit, without having to add anything extra to your prompt like you do when using options. While the prefer suffix setting is compatible with all parameters and custom options, it doesn't support the use of normal text. The only officially supported values for the prefer suffix function are values preceded by dash dash. For example, you could use dash dash no clouds or dash dash aspect ratio 3 to 2 as a suffix, but apples 2 or translucent would not be valid. But these examples could still be used in an option group. To use prefer suffix, just type slash prefer and select prefer suffix from the list, then input your value. In this example I'm going to enter AR for aspect ratio and 2 to 3, then hit enter. You don't need to enter dash dash here. Using the suffix setting is most beneficial when you're going to be using the same set of parameters for a batch of jobs. It's less useful when trying to find the optimal parameters for a particular project, but can be extremely helpful when experimenting with the text prompt itself. And like before, if you want to clear your suffix, simply leave the value empty and press enter. And that's a wrap! We hope you've enjoyed learning about these mid-journey features and hope that you feel ready to unleash your creativity and create amazing images like never before. Remember, practice makes perfect, so start experimenting with these pro tips and see where your imagination takes you. Thank you for watching until the end, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to AI Entrepreneur Newsletter for more tutorials and tips.